Hi. Um, so I'm trying something new. Instead of talking to people, because I'm such a great conversationalist, I'm going to try to start talking into a black hole, into a camera. I mean, there are benefits to this because no one talks back, and I guess talking it out is, you know, a catharsis. But then again, I mean, I'd rather talk to dogs because, like, their eyes are just so expressive and they're just so cuddly. What's my point? <laughs> my name is T. I am 28 years old, and I am single. Behind me is where the magic does not happen. You want to take another look? Yeah, that's where it doesn't happen. And why is that the case? Because I'm terrible at dating. So the catharsis for me in this situation is why am I so bad? <laughs> well, let's start with my history. I didn't date in high school. Um, instead of being interested in boys, I was interested in books. Rereading. Okay, listen. I've read all of Game of Thrones. I'm just rereading the first one because I just really want to know who Jon Snow's parents are. And there's clues in here that I still want to pick up again. I'm of the common theory between, you know, Targaryen and the sister. But okay, aside from that, um, yeah, I was more interested in school. I was more interested in, you know, studying AP physics and really really passing that test, which I didn't pass. Or, well, that's okay. Maybe get that A, which I didn't get. <laughs> got a B, but it's AP, so B equals A, right? Whatever. I got in a good school. I have a BA. I have an MA, and I have no boyfriend. But, I mean, I just want a boyfriend to solve all my problems. Like, he can pay for dinner. He can drive me around when I'm drunk. You know, he can have sex with me and make magic happen there, because, again, it's not happening. Um, you know, somebody to cuddle with, whatever. Anyways, so another problem that I have is that I have terrible taste. Terrible. I'm so attracted to the asshole. I'm so attracted to the bad guys. Why? Because I'm a stereotype, okay? Everyone says, you know, T, date a nice guy. It's like, no, I'm a nice girl. I want something... It's not me. I want that bad guy. But bad guys hurt me, and they don't care about me, and they lie, and I'm gullible. So my friends were like, okay, well, why don't you date, you know, a nerdy guy? Like, you know, you guys share common interests because you're nerdy. Yes, I am nerdy. I like Star Wars. Look at this. Here we have Dak Ralta. Like, may he rest in peace, okay? He was... Great at what he did until he died. Then we have Luke. Ah, oh my god. And of course, he has his lightsaber. <laughs> Here, let's like put it in his hand so he doesn't get, you know, sizzled. And then of course, we have the stormtrooper. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. I mean, this is actually a snow trooper because... This battle that I'm trying to reenact is from the Battle of Hoth. I don't want to date someone like myself. Like, come on, duh. But, it, but then if I don't, if I don't change things up, I'm gonna be alone because I'm allergic to cats. So I can't be a cat lady. And I live in a small little studio, so I can't really have a big dog as my cuddly. <laughs> but you know I also like you know, big other things but anyways so and if I keep dating assholes I'm still going to be constantly single because they're just gonna, not going to care about me so I got to change it um, so here's the thing though I'm going to look over 10 years of my dating life and really examine what I'm doing wrong um, and how to get over it you know just it's been 10 years, T. Like, grow the fuck up. So stay tuned for, I guess, I really think the first guy fucked me over. <laughs> and I'll tell you about him next week.